2 is equal to n times of p1 that is if momentum of ball of a body changes n times then kinetic energy e1 upon e2 is equal to p1 square upon 2m p2 square upon 2m e2 upon e1 is equal to p2 upon p1 ka whole square or kinetic energy is increases n square times e2 is equal to n square into e1 now if linear moment of a body increases n times its kinetic energy n square increases n square times if we determine the value of percentage change in kinetic energy it is given by percentage change in kinetic energy is equal to n square minus 1 into 100 where n represent the number of times that linear momentum of a body changes example if linear moment of a body increases 20 percent find the percentage change in kinetic energy in this question we have initial momentum is equal to p and final is equal to p plus 20 upon 100 into p that is 1.2 into p 1.2 is the value of n means n is equal to 1.2 that is momentum changes 1.2 times then use the above relation and percentage change in kinetic energy is given by n square minus 1 into 100 that is 1.2 square minus 1 into 100 which is 1.44 minus 1 into 100 and it's 44 percent that's your final answer similarly if we determine the relation between p and e then this relation also use that linear momentum of a body is equal to square root times of the 2m into e that is if energy changes n times changes means increase or decreases that is if kinetic energy of a body changes n times linear momentum of the body changes under root n times and if we determine the value of percentage change in the linear momentum then it is given by the equation under root n minus 1 to 100 in this case n is number of times kinetic energy changes now we discuss some more applications of work energy theorem we have work energy theorem is given by work done is equal to change in kinetic energy that is final minus initial if a body is come to rest on a plane that is if work done is equal to half m v a square minus half m v a square in which final kinetic energy is equal to zero that is work done is equal to half m into u square m into u is also called momentum or initial momentum then work done is equal to p a square upon 2m now work done by the friction force is given by mu m g into s which is equal to p a square upon 2 into m if any body which have same momentum and moving on the same plane then mu and s is mu m g into s is given by p a square upon 2m in which mu g and p is constant then s is given by one proportional to one upon m square means s2 upon s1 is equal to m1 upon m2 whole square and s2 is equal to s1 into m1 upon m2 whole square let me consider one example two cart is attached through a pipe which contains some explosive powder and suddenly a blast takes place in the powder the both cart move in opposite direction on a identical plane if the first cart travel a distance s1 then find the distance travel by the s cart s2 which already given the questions that if two body of the same mass m1 and m2 are attached by a pipe containing explosive powder p if powder p explodes suddenly and block m1 come to rest by traveling a distance s1 on a plane then find the distance travel by the s2 if plane is identical now momentum apply the principle of conditional momentum initial momentum is equal to final momentum that is p1 is equal to minus p2 means both have the same magnitude but in opposite direction we have s is inversely proportional to the m square that is s2 upon s1 is equal to m1 upon m2 whole square from the above relation and the stopping distance of the second card is gained by s2 is equal to m1 upon m2 whole square into s1 in this case if m1 and m2 are given then we substitute the values in the equations and determine the value of s2 next relation power rate of work done performed by a body is called 
power. Miss power is equal to dW by dt. It's rate of change of work done. Work done is given by f dot ds. Means p is equal to f dot v. It's a dot product of force and velocity of a body. Power of a machine is given by f v cos theta. If theta is equal to zero, then power is equal to f into v. Applications. Let a machine which deliver constant power. Means we have to say for a machine delivering constant power, that is m into v is equal to constant. Means the value of force is given by m d by dt into v is equal to constant. We integrate the above relations and we get v square by 2 is equal to kt by m, in which v is equal to under root of 2k by m into t. v is proportional to square root of t, or v is proportional to t k power 1 by 2. That is, for any machine which has the constant power, the velocity is directly proportional to the square root of a time. Again, v is written as dx by dt is equal to under root k by m into under root t. Integrate the whole equations, we get x is equal to 2k upon m under root and t k power 3 by 2 and it's 3 by 2 again. Now we get x is equal to under root of 8k upon 9m t k power 3 by 2. Means x is proportional to t k power 3 by 2. That is for any machine which deliver constant power, displacement is proportional to t to the power 3 by 2. Concluding your chapter.